feeling like somebody just ripped some out of my body. Tonight, a father describes the unbearable pain of losing a daughter. This little 11 year old girl stolen by gun violence. Asia Jones was struck by a stray bullet that pierced her home in Spalding County. And tonight, a manhunt underway. That pierced her home. A stray bullet that pierced her home. Think about how they talk about it when it's a black on black crime. It's not a mo no emotion. There's no fucking malice or in, you know, like a hailstone. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's Justice just like, for Asia Jones. Right. Justice for Asia Jones. <laughs> it's just a, a, a bullet pierced her home. What? A fucking thug, reckless, out of control, low IQ, low impulse control thug was shooting at another black guy and haphazardly in public in accident in a bullet from his gun hit this girl to bed while she was fucking sleeping. There I fixed it. Of losing a daughter, this little eleven year old girl stolen by gun violence. Asia Jones was struck by a stray bullet that pierced her home in Spalding County. And tonight, a manhunt underway for the suspected killer. Good evening. I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. And this is the face of the man the deputies want you to be looking out for tonight. Well, no shit. We all knew it was a black guy. You don't even have to fuck. Whenever some, a kid is sleeping in the bed and they get shot, it's always a black guy. I'm talking about always, at least 95% of the time. Higher than that. <laughs> yeah, you, you lowballed that pretty bad. The reason I lowballed it was because anything could happen. You can see the Deontay fear in his Parks eyes here, is too. wanted for murder. Atlanta News First reporter Zach Summers, live in Clayton County, where Asia's father lives. And, Zach, you spoke to him exclusively. My heart breaks for him. What did he tell you? Well, you know, Marcus Jones took his daughter shopping a week ago today, not knowing that he would never see her alive again. When he learned about what happened yesterday morning, he tells me the 20 mile drive between Jonesboro and Griffin felt like an eternity. Asia like a flower, man. A gentle, kind, yet spunky soul. That's how Marcus Jones is remembering his daughter, 11 year old Asia. Her life cut short early Tuesday morning. I feel like somebody just Rip some out of my body. And it's a hollow space there. Now you notice there's nobody standing with this father. He's all alone. If they if it was a white guy that they thought did this shit, this whole fucking background would be full of people with fucking suits on and podiums and shit and posters and shit. When it's a black person kill your kid, you standing there on the fucking news all the fuck by yourself a single dad with nothing but another oh, baby facts man that shit is deep this is truly horrendous eternity asia like a flower man a gentle kind yet spunky soul that's how marcus jones is remembering his daughter 11 year old asia her life cut short early tuesday morning i'm feeling like somebody just ripped some out of my body and it's a hollow space there, but I'm still living. Asia was killed while sleeping in her bed at the Northside Hills Apartments in Griffin. The Spalding County Sheriff says the suspect, Keontae Parks, who remains on the run, was shooting at someone in the parking lot when a stray bullet hit the little girl. The person that pulled it. Shh. This fucking piece of shit. And this motherfucker, had this never happened, and he got fucking... Let's just say the bullet would have went somewhere else, didn't hit the little girl, missed the little girl, right? A week later, the police fucking come and try to arrest this guy just for shooting in public. And he gets his ass kicked while he's resisting arrest. It's going to be like the fucking sky is falling. It's going to be like World War Three. Every fucking body's going to be losing their fucking head. Why Keontae? Keontae Box! Keontae Box! Everybody in the fucking world gonna know this name. He's gonna be murals on fucking liquor stores and shit. Exactly. His name gonna be a hashtag. Everybody on the side of the gas station like Alton Sterling. Exactly, man. 
Even and though he's clearly a demon. I mean, look at this guy. But he's you can tell in his man. booking photo, he's scared to death. He's a black man. And when you're a black man, if you have a run-in with a white man or a cop or a Karen, everybody in the country gets to know your name. And you get to be a fucking victim. Been in her bed at the Northside Hills Apartments in Griffin. The Spalding County Sheriff says the suspect, Keontae Parks, who remains on the run, was shooting at someone in the parking lot when a stray bullet hit the little girl. The person that pulled the trigger is the stray. Like a stray dog. He the stray. Mm. Not the bullet. Investigators believe the shooting was gang related. And while they're still trying to determine if there was a second shooter, the sheriff said Tuesday they're confident Parks fired the fatal shot. He's a monster. He has a complete disregard for human life. Today, grief counselors were at co It's Careful black bladder, people. They'll I call you racist. You. No, I promise you, in their hearts, a lot of black people cringe when I said that. Because a white guy called a black guy a monster. That's how we are with that sick. Even here. Yeah, to call him a monster. Damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we are sick. Parks fired the fatal shot. He's a monster. He has a complete disregard for human life. Today, grief counselors were at Cohen Road Middle School where Asia was a sixth grader. The district urging parents to talk to their children, saying in a statement, children need caring adults with whom they can discuss their feelings about death and dying. Yeah. I don't think Asia Weeks counselors. It's mostly a need with black children. I mean, like, God, we have to be start he... being specific about this shit or we're never, ever going to get anywhere. Yeah, black kids. Because here's the thing. If a black dude fucking discover the cure for cancer tomorrow, it's going to be black excellence. So they know when to fucking differentiate if somebody black or not. But when it's shit like this, all kids in the country, in the world, need to learn how to know. Fuck no. Black kids in the ghetto are the ones that's getting killed in their fucking sleep by niggas like that. And Jones showed me an email he got from one of Asia's classmates last night. In it, that classmate talked about Asia's potential and thanked her for often helping the student with her homework. Just a testament of this young girl's kindness, offering some comfort to her family. As for Keontae Parks, authorities say consider he is considered to be armed and dangerous if you do see him or know where he is. Yeah, what? Live in Clayton County, Zach Summers, Atlanta News First. Uh, this is how you know. Here tonight, the parents. This is how you know you're in a sun city. This is how you know. You Tell me you're in a sun city without telling me you're in a sun city. New tonight, the parents of a little boy killed when a stray bullet came into their apartment earlier this week share their outrage. Yeah, they spoke exclusively with our Kim Passoff. She joins us from Boulder Highway with their story tonight. It is an unthinkable tragedy. Two little boys shot by a stray bullet while inside an apartment here. For now, their family is staying with friends unable to return. Six-year-old Honor Tate watches cartoons. Bandages cover his ankle and other parts of his leg. The same bullet that killed his older brother shattered before it went into him. We hop up out the bed. We run into the living room. We heard Honor whimper. No sound from Armani. And I'm like, first thing I'm checking, you okay, Honor? He, he doesn't say anything else to me. I'm like, Armani, you okay, Armani? He doesn't say anything. He doesn't respond to me. All I can visual at this moment is my baby's head dropping and falling to the side. Nine-year-old Sir Armani Clark was on. And listen, man. Both of these people are on board for, for bail reform, criminal justice reform, police reform, defund the police. Racism is the biggest thing in this country. Um, Trump's a racist. Any a MAGA hat is a fucking is a is a clan um, hood. All that shit. All these people are on board for that shit. It still doesn't make it any less sad though. It's still fucking sad knowing that these people would fucking 
if they saw this, if they saw five minutes of this, they would be in this show. These people would be fighting mad. These are regular black people. These aren't the black people that come to this show where y'all get confused. Y'all see Stunner and Marcy and Black Gen Z and y'all think that it's actually black people like that in the world. No. 99% of black people see this show and be fighting mad. And he doesn't respond to me. All I can visual at this moment is my baby's head dropping and falling to the side. Nine-year-old Sir Armani Clark was on the couch with his brother watching SpongeBob when a bullet came through the wall. My baby got shot in his head. There are no words to describe the pain Justine Tate and Marielle Collins feel at the sudden loss of their son. Armani was the best. He left an imprint on everyone. Everybody. He was the football star of the family. When I tell you that boy can throw a football better than his mommy, okay, and I can throw a football. The family was just moving. Well, at least they're not basketball Americans. Family. When I tell you that boy can throw a football better than his mommy, okay, and I can throw a football. The family was just moving to Vegas from Reno for Justine's job. The boys arrived. Hey, how many of them? Are, is, oh, is this the whole family? Oh, no, damn. Is it more kids? And those were just the two that got shot? For Justine's job, the boys arrived last Thursday night. He was a protector for his brother. Comforter. He was a comforter. Justine knows her six-year-old will never be the same without his big brother. My baby is so traumatized. He can't, he doesn't want to leave the house. But yesterday when I went to clean his wounds, he immediately was like, Mama, I want our money. These parents know they can never get their baby boy back. Now they want justice for the shooter to turn themselves in. You're going to be caught regardless. Running away is pointless. What's the point in running? You took somebody's child's life. Be a man and own up to it. Just stop making a mother grieve and a father grieve. And just let's get it over with. And the family has set up a GoFundMe account to help with Sir Armani's final expenses, as well as to help six-year-old honor. You can find a link on our website. That is fox5vegas.com. Sir Armani's funeral arrangements have not yet been set. Reporting off of Boulder Highway, Kim Passoff, Fox. Man, I know I said we'll do another. On that note, man, I got to get out of here, man. Um, salute, man. Peace out. I'm not coming. I'm not